The idea of a hockey musical is about as unlikely as seeing me in a hockey jersey, and yet here we are with Score, a hockey musical. Director Michael McGowan already found the sweet spot with his cross-Canadian road trip one week. Now it's Score. He's taking Canadiana to a whole new level. My home rink, your puck. Meet Farley Gordon, a homeschooled smarty pants who happens to be the next great one. Soon Farley's stick work catches the attention of the local team owner played by Stephen McHattie. If you could do half of what I saw you do today, you could be the next Sidney Crosby. Cindy who? But Farley's folksy parents, including Olivia Newton-John and songwriter Mark Jordan, aren't ready to send their boy to the big leagues. We've been through this before. You're free to walk out the door. But I think it needs to be said. Too much hockey's not good for the head. And Farley soon learns pucks and pacifism don't mix. Violence in sport, isn't this supposed to be fun? The boys are letting off steam, they're not hurting anyone. Well, Farley's secret sweetheart, Eve, isn't impressed as the boy next door becomes a billboard. Score is a so sweet it hurts sort of story, but there's a few things to like here. Noah Reed, who plays Farley, should have taken some tips from Drew Bergenver, who plays Moose, an enforcer with some mean moves. Check out the locker room tango. On the ice have always had your back. If they mess with you, they get a whack. If that don't help them comp day, the knuckle sandwich comes into play. And Stephen McHattie's twisted take is always amusing. No, oh, that's a definite kumbana. But as you may have guessed by now, Score's real blind spot is the songs. It's a second-rate high school musical. One, two, three, four! Drenched in maple syrup. Hockey, hockey, the greatest game in the land. Yeah, that was Walter Gretzky at the end there. You know, in the trailer for Score, they say, our game, our passion, our movie. Now, I'm no Don Cherry, but surely we deserve better than a hero who wants to hug it out. For me, score shoots and misses. I rate this mediocre musical two stars out of five. I'm Eli Glassman.